New tonight, Fresno Unified students go back to school on Monday. And tonight, police and school officials are reminding drivers to be cautious around school zones as thousands of students head back to their campuses. CBS 47's Connie Tran joins us live tonight from Erickson Elementary. Connie. Catherine, Ken, come Monday, this driveway is going to be jam-packed with drivers and parents picking up and dropping off their students. A big piece of advice is to leave early on Monday and give yourself plenty of time. It's been months of summer vacation, but in three days, the streets around many schools are going to be crowded. Monday is the first day back to school for Fresno Unified students. This week, we're sending messages to all the families. Our principals are reminding parents where the pickup and the drop-off zones are and uh, what precautions they should take. Miguel Arias is a spokesperson for the district. He says this week teachers and staff have been prepping and they're going to need parents and drivers to do their part. To slow down, you know, leave your home early. It's going to be the first day that we have buses on the road. Um, that we have kids walking to school. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer warns there will be extra patrolling out near the schools. Next week we're going to have children being present and uh, what we do not want in our city is a tragedy where a young child is uh, struck by a vehicle. Dyer says there will be little tolerance for those who speed around schools. If someone's exceeding the posted speed limit in a school zone, they will get a ticket. Fresno Unified says safety is key to the success of the start of a new year. We're going to have a lot of presence of police officers, crosswalk staff. Um Something new in Fresno Unified this year. The school district says that all staff are now equipped and trained on how to best handle an active shooter situation. Parents can expect to see some posters around all of the schools this upcoming school year. Live tonight at Erickson Elementary, Connie Tran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.